So it looks like my local darts league is not starting up again anytime soon. So what does that mean? More online darts. I quite like the concept of online darts. It means that you can play with anyone around the world. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use a dual webcam setup and showing you how you can enable it and use it on webcam darts. My name is Ross and welcome to Clash of the Tungsten. If you've been here before, what are you saying? If this is the first time on the channel, all right. If you do enjoy the video content that you see today, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss another darts related video. For this little tutorial, there are a couple of things that you're gonna need. First thing is two webcams. The second thing is a computer. The third thing is OBS. First thing that you need to do is plug in your webcams to your computer. So let's dive into the computer and show you how to do it on there. If we type in OBS on Google, OBS is an open source streaming platform. The great thing about OBS is it's completely free and it will never charge you to use it. Dependent on what operating system on, you need to download it for that. So I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna download the Windows. Once it's all downloaded, we need to open the installer. I've already got this installed, so I'm not gonna redo it, else it's gonna mess around my settings. It's pretty self-explanatory. So next thing we need to do is open OBS and get everything configured. At first it looks quite daunting because there is a hell of a lot of buttons, but it really isn't as difficult as it looks. On the left hand side here we've got what's known as scenes, and what scenes is, is basically the rectangle that you see here. We're going to be putting input sources like webcams, microphones etc into this scene. If we go into the scene, you can see this group called sources. If we hit this plus button here, we've got quite a few options on what we can add in. Just for this tutorial, we're only gonna need a video capture device. I'm gonna call this one board cam, so I'm gonna set up the board camera first. Automatically, it has come up with webcam there. I have got two webcams. I've got one for the board and one for me throwing. We'll set up the board cam first. If we hit the webcam, we've got quite a few options here. This stuff here we can leave because we don't particularly need that at the moment. Buffering. We'll keep this on auto detect for now because when we enable virtual cam, which is the fake webcam, the virtual cam will adjust the buffering itself. Audio output mode, we've got a few options. We're not gonna need the wave out, so if we just keep this as capture audio only, if we click okay, and you can see our webcam has been added to our scene. So that's the first camera set up. We need to do the same again with our second camera. Video capture device again. We'll call this one um, throw cam. So if we click OK, it selected our original webcam first. You can't have the same webcam on two sources. So we need to actually go and find our second webcam, which is this one. Obviously, we're not pointing at anything at the moment, but I'll put this on me just for now. Hiya, you're right. God, that's not a good angle, is it? Look at that chin. Proper chins. We just go through everything, keep it the same, device default, 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 auto detect. We don't need to mess around with any of that and you guys really don't need to know what any of that is. So hit OK on that wall. And now you can only just see one. And that's because these are done in layers. Because we've added the throw cam last, that's now at the top. So it's basically covering over our board cam. We don't want this, we want it to be split screen. You can drag these above and below each other. I'm gonna put the, web, uh, the throw cam on top just for now. But what we need to do is now resize our windows so that we can do the split screen. What we need to do is hold Alt on our keyboard and drag. And that will basically crop to how you want your split screen to look. I'm going to put that about there and I'm going to drag this in like that. So I've got my split screen here. And then once you let go of Alt, you can actually just click what you want and move it over. So as you can see, it's getting there. We've nearly got our split screen how we want it. Now what we need to do is do the same for board cam. Make sure you've got the layer selected on here and you can even hide this one. The, the little eye here just hides it. So what you can do is just hide that away for now because we don't need to look at my ugly mug. If we click board cam, so we make sure that this layer is selected, we can even lock this layer so we don't make the mistake of moving that around once we've got it in position we want. What we can do here is again hold Alt Make sure that your layer is selected and crop to where you want it. And on this side, do the same thing. So once you've moved it to where you want it, you can then unlock your layer from before. And yeah, there I am. If you do want to adjust, again, just hold Alt and drag your mouse. And there we go. 
that is all set up and that's your split screen done. What I would recommend you do do is move your webcams into the position that you want them first. Make sure that everything is sort of central. So where you stand is dead in the middle of the webcam and where the board is, is dead in the middle of like the scene. That way you don't have to crop as much and you can basically get it perfect to how you want it. So we've got a split screen now, which is great. You can see me here, you can see the board on the other side. What we need to do now is actually enable the virtual cam. The virtual cam is using what we've got in this rectangle here and outputting that so it's like a fake webcam. If we go and hit tools there, we can go down to virtual cam. You get a few options with this. So for the first three, you don't need to know what they are. Target camera is what the input's gonna be called. So for my two cameras, they're both called webcam, but they, if you are using like a Logitech C920, it'll be called that. This is the same thing. If we are trying to find the webcam, this actual scene that we've got here will be called OBS camera. I'm just gonna keep it as the first option so it's nice and easy to find. The second setting is buffered frames. And what that is, is it basically induces lag. You don't need that and you need it turned down at the lowest possible setting. We literally need to click start and that will basically create an input that you can find in your webcam darts. Let me show you. So once we're in NACA, we need to set up the webcam. So this will work for webcam darts as well. It's the exact same process. But for this, I'm just going to do it on NACA because it's what I use. So if we go into webcam setting here, it will give you all your webcam settings. At first, you might get the webcam error. Because we're using our webcams in OBS, it doesn't allow it to use it in another source. Don't worry about that. We're going to sort that. Keep all the settings as they are. We don't need to change them. But for video source, we need to change it to the OBS camera, like I said before. And as you can see, we've got our split screen in the input there, which is great. And for the audio, we just need to change it to one that matches what we're using. So I'm just gonna use the general webcam as that's the one that's closest to me. If we now go into a game, and let's see if the webcams work. So if we type webcam on, here we go. We're down the bottom here, we're all sorted. That's how you set up split screen in NACA and if you're playing online darts. Really easy tutorial, doesn't cost anything. If you've already got two webcams, then there's no reason not to do this because the software is completely free. It adds a little bit of production value if you're into that sort of thing. And also it gives you peace of mind that people don't think you're cheating if you are whacking big scores in that board. If you did enjoy this video and you did get value from it, then please consider hitting that like button and subscribing so you don't miss more darts content like this. Also, if you have any other ideas or if you'd like me to make a tutorial on how to set something up on webcam darts then feel free to leave a comment down in the section below. I really appreciate you joining me today and I'll see you in the next one.